This is Shane Watson here from Pearsley Sports. I'm lucky enough to be joined by WBA Super Middleweight Champion George Groves. How are you, George? Very well, thank you. That's good, that's good. Um, we've got a big fight coming up, a good domestic clash up for, obviously, not domestic, domestic is in from the same country for a world title. A uh, big defence at Wembley Arena, something you're familiar with, you've boxed there before. Um, how, how do you take this fight in? Is this a harder fight than your last fight, do you believe? And do you think it's a much bigger fight than the last fight as well? No, it's not harder than the last fight. Chudinov, um, it's a much tougher opponent, stronger, bigger. Um, but it's, it's, it's just, uh, in some way similar. Um, I, I don't know how Jamie will want to prepare, how he wants to fight this fight, whether he wants to try and be clever and box long. It won't really work too well for him because um, I'm going to beat him to the punch long. If he wants to be aggressive and get inside, he's going to have to walk through my punches, which game won't be so good for him. Um, people like to believe that I can't fight inside. If you go back and watch the Tudor fight, the, the subtleties that I do inside is what won me that fight. In fact, now that I feel worse since working with Shane Wigan, I can go from head to body so fluidly, um, quick and sharp, and, and loose, punch hard. And then once I have an effect, um, I'm close to show. So, um, no, I think, uh, as I said, I, I've had a great um, build up to this fight. Uh, my previous fights is a great running, you know, I'm in good form and uh, it stands me in good stead for, for the whole tournament because um, Jamie Cox won't be easy, not by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I remember training with, alongside Jamie um, as teenagers on the England squad down, down in uh, Crystal Palace. You know, I know he's fit, he's got good work rate, I know he punched hard at light weight. So um, these are attributes to not um, sort of uh, diminish or, or, or not, you know, to not concentrate on, we'll, uh, but we know how to nullify and we know that we'll have an effect. Um, we're confident that. Uh, Shane Wickham brought up in the press conference about his size, how he, fight, how he believes he's fighting at the wrong way. Is this something you agree with and is this something that you believe will play into your hands on fight night as well? I do, I do. I think I don't think he's big enough to middle weight. I, uh, I think it will be a, a, a benefactor for me, um, but uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not the only reason I'm going to win this fight. You know, there's a, there's a whole, whole host of other reasons why I shouldn't lose this fight. You know, um, you know, when it comes down to experience, championship level fights, you know, um, the quality of opposition I've been in with, say the momentum going into this tournament, the size, um, all these are, you know, all in my favour, you know. Jamie Cox is quick, but he's carrying more weight, so he's not as quick as he used to be. Um, I'm pretty fast myself. Jamie Cox punches hard, he doesn't punch as hard as I punch, I believe. Um, people, people, you know, again, you know, these trainers, they're concentrating on the cold fudge fight, you know. That's where you're going to hopefully find a weakness, you know. With the cold fudge fights, um, I'm better than that now, you know. Uh, I've improved, I've gained um, not only experience, as I say, but also working now with Shane McGregor, he's added so much to my game. So you can't really concentrate too much on the, on the cold fudge fights because I feel um, I'm better than that now. Um, Hit anyone clean, you can get ice. Do you know what I mean? Um, and, and Jamie will find out that uh, at Wembley Arena when I hit him clean. So. And also coming into this tournament, Chris Eubank Jr. had a lot to say about you as a fighter, about your ability and stuff. And I believe he also says something about uh, something to you at the um, uh, fight against Abraham. What do you make of everything that Chris Eubank Jr. has said? I'm not really concentrating on, on Chris at the moment. He's got his own his own thing. Uh, I'll know whether I'm fighting him after I beat Cox before the Cox fight because obviously he's out a week before. Um, if he gets through his quarter final, then uh, I'm really looking forward to that fight because it'll be a, a nice, saucy, spicy sort of build up. I'd imagine his dad's always good value for money. Um, I'd like to. Uh, like to be tested before the fight, which I feel that, I uh, don't think they'll test me, but I'll, I'll certainly test them, but that's uh, irrelevant right now because he's got a tough job in front of him and so have I, so um, we're just concentrating on Jamie Cox, um, we're looking to uh, send out a real statement, so uh, he might change his tune. And just to round off, what's your prediction ahead of fight night, have you got a round, do you think you're going to leave it in or do you think you're going no, to No, no round, no round. Um, I, I, I think the fight will finish before the final bell. I feel the 
so I'll find a home for the left hand and the right hand and uh, I don't know which one's going to get rid of them but one of them will. Okay, well thanks for talking to PFC Sports no, today. Fine, we're good to have you on the show again and Thank we'll you. catch up with you ahead of fight night. Perfect, cheers.